And if you think about what it means to be married, it's a lifelong commitment to love one another until death do you part. Scott and Abigail, you know, you're entering into uh, a blessed relationship and uh, there's going to be all kinds of joy and wonderful things ahead for you too, I know. And I'm really happy to be here and celebrate with you because uh, not only am I Scott's pastor, but I'm also Scott's friend and I've gotten to spend time with him over the years. And he's been a, a godly uh, church member. He's been consistent. He's been faithful. And I believe he's going to be faithful to lead this home. All right. And now, in the presence of our church family here, friends, in the presence of our Lord Jesus Christ himself, by the power vested in me by the state of Arizona, I now pronounce you, man and wife, you may kiss the bride. All right. What therefore God has joined together, let not man put asunder. And may I be the very first to introduce to you, Mr. and Mrs. Scott Oates. Don't run me over, okay? Thank you for this joyous celebration and bringing together Scott and Abigail this beautiful day, Lord. We pray, God, that you'd bless their marriage, Lord, that you'd give them many days uh, together, Lord, many wonderful children that they would raise in the fear and nurture and admonition of the Lord. We pray, Lord, that you bless our time together in fellowship now and bless this day and keep us safe in all, in all that we do. And we commend Brother Scott and Abigail to you, Lord, and we commend them to your word and the word of your grace. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Yeah.